Oh. It's fine. I'm not it's altered. aged. But we're moving on into grand finals of John Numbers versus Ling. Ling coming in from loser's side. And John Numbers, who has been sitting pretty in winners. And all things come to a head. We've had upsets. We've had excitement. At the end of the day, grand finals is still the number one seed in winners, the number two seed in losers. I mean, at the end of the day, John Numbers really just is inevitable. <laughs> the demon is already here. I wonder if he got blipped in the MCU. Did the MCU version of John Numbers get blipped, or did he just be like, or did Thanos see him and be like, nah, you good. You're inevitable too. I get it. <laughs> you didn't see the, the Wii Fit trainer coming out during the portal scene? I mean, it definitely <laughs> was there. It definitely was there, and it certainly, it, I mean, there's no way it wasn't the way that Numbers has started off this set, racking on on 130%, almost entirely unanswered, keeping Ling on the back foot from a distance, and, and, and playing just outside of the effective turnip toss range for the most part. That being said, Ling is starting to force him into the corner as time moves on, on on force the, the resources out, force the patience and these bigger commitments from numbers to get the same rewards. And th you can tell as a result of that, that even though he took all that percent early, it was calculated. Mm -hmm, absolutely, that is still, you know, data coming in for Ling. But John Numbers, no slouch in the download department himself. And already Ling getting the first stock with the Peach Bomber, calling out the Sun Salutation Charge. But deep breathing online for John Numbers right now. Ling is absolutely at death's door. Death's door for sure, but th this is Peach we're talking about. Uh, no turnip, you get triple back air to ledge. That's the Peach bread and butter, if there ever was one. And, right, that's 30% and stage control for you to now just get a pluck a turnip, ip, wait out this deep breathing timer, force Numbers to make these commitments, and now he's stuck strapping on you with no resources left. This is now where you've suddenly reset the situation, but your opponent has less resources than before. The timer is lower. Er, and at 140, right, Ling still hasn't gotten hit yet and has done 86 in extra credit. It, it has been... Okay, finally, I, though, the F tilt, though. I, I said so, but... It, <laughs> I didn't have to say so. You're welcome, members. <laughs> <laughs> finally, though, but, I mean, just one... Just one neutral win that John has gotten in a pretty long time. The movement coming out from Ling has just been so good so far that Numbers has not just not been able to pin him down and really start getting those uh, like starters that we know him for. And I think especially coming into this second stock, that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue for Numbers. And both players play the game the, a very similar way. They want to slow you down. Play patient at this mid range, and then, and then punish you hard for a single mistake. Force you to outplay them over and over, out game sense them because they don't think you can. And so, when they come head to head, you see two very similar play styles, and it's a lot of who can just dislodge the other one first. Because once they're dislodged, it's hard to get set back up. Up, the onus is on you to take that stage control and hold on to it. And right now, it's just kind of the Ling show on that front. That being said, though, Numbers bringing the percentage back into his favor, finally finding that dash grab, looking for a cute little soccer ball angle. And as quickly as it came, it goes again. Numbers keeping things even, them going back and forth with the lead every single hit. This is as even as it gets for Shrut. Either, or the pressure is on Ling just playing it patient, resetting both players, grabbing, we grabbing, we grabbing ledge a third time, but numbers utilizing that soccer ball, all holding the, all the space in the world and extending the hitbox to find the stock is one away. I love just the amount of times that numbers fainted at the ledge with the soccer ball, like just the soccer ball setup or the sun salutation charge, setting the soccer ball up at ledge. Just so many different baits from John to just try and force Ling to force the issue. But an unfortunate mistech from Numbers means that Ling is going to be bringing things to even stocks. 90%? That's that's not a lot for a, a Peach combo. No, and I mean, coming off the Peach bomb, right, the, we're, we're definitely going to see at least a little bit 
of an attempt here from Ling just to continue the corner situation. We might not see as optimal. Oh, Saturn! Another Saturn! That's what, the fourth one? The fifth one? I think so. I think it's number five. It might be number four. I'm pretty sure it's number five. I think we're up to, to four Saturns and two bombs, and probably two Stitch Faces. Yeah, we which is crazy. But that's also a standard leg bracket for you, as he tries to find a way back down the stage, get that one more chance that he thinks he might be able to just clutch it out. We've seen him do it before, time and time again. The quest, but Numbers is a different beast than what we have back in New England forward throw might be doing it not without deep breathing though ling living to tell the tale john taking a moment and the route <laughs> with the parasol to hit the soccer ball back was so smart ling getting the download but at the end of the day you can't out download the master john numbers with the simple back air on shield yep can't. you know for all the complex big brain back and forth leveling they did at the end of the day just back air out of shield. Yeah. It's so simple, even my grandmother can do it. All right, and it looks like we're, we are going to be moving on to small battlefield as Ling's counterpick, which, as we were saying before, this is John's favorite stage. I mean, it's a good stage. It is definitely a good stage. I think John specifically says he believes it to be the most neutral stage. Yes. I, I agree with that to some degree. He, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if players sometimes counterpick to Small Battlefield over PS2 solely because I swear, this is just the music ultimate choices. version of talking about which character is the most honest. <laughs> no, I, I'm... Like, it, it's literally like, oh, this is the most neutral state. It's like, all right, I was shut saying, up, I was saying that sometimes people counterpick here because they get more music choices. Yeah. Also true. It's like, hmm, which stage is more honest? It's the same thing. We, we, everyone just wants to... What stage is more honest? Uh, and, and you know what? <laughs> what stage is more honest first? <laughs> right now, it's not looking like Small Battlefield as John Numbers takes a fairly healthy percent lead, but already getting to 88%. Yeah, the scrap situation going back and forth. The back, though, not going to do it just yet without deep breathing. Blink trying to weave, but just misspacing the verticality. He got locked into it, and Numbers reacting perfectly to the height, lining it up, taking the shot, and finding the stock. But Ling in a perfect situation to give himself an opportunity to even this one up. If he can just close it out, the crown not going to do it yet, but hold on, King. You still got another chance. All right. Text finally coming out from Numbers, but Numbers only able to get that single forward air in extra credit, and Ling is absolutely still in this, but getting caught uh, holding forward just a little bit too much. Two buttons! That was two projectiles, and he's at 70! <laughs> That's Wii Fit, tra Wii Fit Trainer! Stretch those legs. All right, 94% now unanswered by Ling as John continues to work this ledge magic keeping Ling uncomfortable in trying to force the issue. The pressure, though, oh, is, in, in, uh, is not insurmountable, right? Ling still able to off one combo, off one edge guard sequence, which you can do non-committally through turn up through float. Oh, from evening this up, but he's starting to swing a little bit. You can see he wants it. it I, you see Ling actually biting his lip a little bit in the player cam. Something he doesn't... I've never seen him do that before. I've never seen him bite his lip that hard before. Definitely starting to see the pressure of John Numbers come out, but the percent is starting to lean back into Ling's favor as he holds onto the second stock. John waiting a really long time to force the issue there. I think a deep breathing back throw may have done it from the platform, but instead Ling gets to live to tell the tale. Right. The, pr the pressure though from Ling, right? Starting to slowly but surely claw this one back. Yeah, you lost your stock. You lived 168. You brought numbers all the way up to kill percent. You brought this stock once again in striking distance. And you were giving yourself the opportunity to find a way back in, but numbers somehow covering every option with the most creative of soccer ball setups. The hitbox extension on the soccer ball setup, as you said, just incredibly creative. Resident soccer ball scientist John Numbers coming through. Finally, though, it's Ling firing back. Numbers, the soccer mom of Zeno. 
A deep breathing and sun salutation online right I, now for John. The dot eyes for Ling, unfortunately missing its mark, so not able to get too much off of it. Ling there definitely wanted the space east to be able to pull a turnip, but I appreciate numbers just holding for drifting towards ledge to never give Ling the time to look for it. it. Beautiful bait out there on the forward smash. We know numbers loves to go it. We've seen him end Zeno after Zeno with that button. But right now it's Ling with this has been a minute long edge trap into the game and turn up into the forward air. He stole that one away. Absolutely. That was robbery. This is fun. I, uh, Peach, did you just say crime is fun live on stream? <laughs> crime is fun. Uh, production, are we allowed? Are we allowed to have someone say uh, that crime listen, is fun we, live on stream? We do not condone any sort of theft or robbery. <laughs> Why did you look at me? I, I don't know. Why did you me? look at me when you said that? <laughs> I don't. I didn't know if you had a follow up or uh, anything. Be gay, do crime? Well, we can. I feel like that just proves we can your thesis, though. We can condone those crimes. <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> now that we are all sufficiently tired and delirious, getting into game number three, one game apiece. We wouldn't have it any other way for a grand finals. Well, once again, the war takes us to small battlefield. Ling opening out of the gate fast force, but the, we know numbers is going to answer back. The question is just when. Absolutely. That being said, though, 72% already on John Ling seems to be the one currently having the turn of, uh, you know, having those reads ready. I love the... Uh, coverage there of John Numbers using the turnip to make himself some space. We see him do that a lot uh, against Robs with the uh, the gyro. And we're starting to see Ling now, right? Find some more crown pressure on shield. He's done it. He did, started to implement it at the end of that game two, and now in game three, we're seeing it come out regularly. Those drift back quarters on shield. Well, just kind of as a more standard perk, rather than a mix-up of his shield pressure game, he's starting to kind of level what? up now. And I, I didn't even, I don't even know what clanked with Peach Bomber. That, I, I believe that was uh, forward tilt from John. It sent them both to the. How did Peach Bomber send that way? I have. It was no going idea. the other direction. <laughs> Congratulations, John Numbers. You have now bestowed Wii Fit's janky hitboxes on literally every other character in the game. He's corrupting the game from the inside. What? Even on the instant replay, it's hard to see, but... Can we get a replay on that one as well? Uh, yeah, Ling, Ling just unfortunately coming up a little bit short when it... There. Air... Air went too far off with the edge guard on just got a caught by his own turn up oh, on the reversal. Yeah, I think and without a jump, Ling reacted a little bit too late, and that is John with an incredibly healthy stock lead. Not now. just no jump, but no float either, right? Which is the other tool that Peach has to get her out of that situation. She can just stop that vertical moment. And That's now Neutral air starter coming out from John. Oh, it's very rare to see e e anyone, we any Wii Fit land falling neutral air on Peach because she can occupy it. She can sit so far off the ground that way you have to line it up, up because of the threat of float at any time. It's just crazy in the stitch at the perfect moment. It's flashbacks to GamerCon <laughs> on on their numbers was up he was gonna win but ling pulled two bombs when it mattered most here numbers has a lead is locked down and suddenly the stitch comes out to immediately take the stock and now the advantage state still going off of it ling can't keep getting away with this these turnip pulls are insane they've been insane this entire bracket i i wouldn't say he can't stop getting keep getting away with it but he's been doing it for 15 years so he's clearly gonna keep he getting been. away with it <laughs> Someone, someone can, if, if someone figures out how to stop him what from doing so. What a reaction from John, but oh, not taking the stock just yeah. yet. I was going to say, even that soccer ball setup can't stop this man. I, I don't know what what can. The <gasps> snipe, he's out of resources, but the soccer ball is going to let him get back. The header coming in clutch with the float movement from Ling. And pressure is racking on both players staying calm, cool, collected. They've been here before, of course. Absolutely. I love this patience coming out from John at the ledge, not forcing the issue and just, you know, gung-hoing his way back into center stage. Deep breathing now online. Got to be careful of the deep breathing throws that will start taking it. I love that layered pressure with the soccer ball. 
The layer pressure with the soccer ball, the cross-up pressure from Ling back. Both players playing the epitome of defensive neutral there on each other's shield. It'll trying to find a way to make it matter most. Now it's Ling with the corner pressure. Remember that there is a fully charged salute the sun online that numbers is just starting to hope that Ling maybe forgets about for a reversal here. Here. The parasol's not gonna do it, but numbers still not able to reset. Who Who's gonna die first? John lives! That is the home the Xeno advan home field if I've ever seen it. That is you know What was that scripted? ending? Yeah, like the the neutral, the the it was incredible and it ended with what really should be a tie. Back air. I would consider that down. And if you watch if we jump back as well. I, if I in back into the blast zone, I wanna look at their DI. I wanna I'm curious to see if they both DI this, right? So we see numbers. It looks like DIing. Where is he DIing? Yeah, he's thank not Thank you. There. I can't. I, thank you. I can't see. So yeah, Ling's DIing. Ling's DIing up. Yep. So it looks like Ling, unfortunately, is the one who died first because the not because Ling number, held in. Ling held in. Thank you. Because he held in and not because. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I am apparently not able to speak today or think. <laughs> It's it's been a long night, but John Numbers potentially looking to have it come to the co come to a close. Only one game away from taking Xenosaga 47 over Ling in game four, and already starting off some header combos on the platform. But Ling with a slight uh, percent lead. Woo, looking for a down tilt into forward smash, not quite finding his mark. And. Just again, right? you're seeing the pace of play Link, of, of Link's play start to pick up. Up uh, numbers is, is starting to level those mix-ups on. On we're not seeing him just reset play that same mid-range game. He's starting to really get creative with these soccer ball mix-ups, even more so than we've seen so far from him in bracket. But Link, the pace of each button he presses, his decision making is leveling up in his pace of play as he tries to give numbers less and less time to reset force him to keep up and so far it's giving him the opportunity to force a game five and potential reset absolutely deep breathing right now online for john that's big damage thanks to that sun salutation but not able to find a grab to follow it up and uh you know get a get more of a positional advantage instead ling is now chilling in the uh center stage and john really has to find his way in utilizing the sun right there to get a little bit of a heal makes that lead just that much smaller from Ling. And the jab one into the jab one reset on the shield mix up. Uh, I can't remember. I've seen numbers pulled out before, but it's been a while. He, That is one of the things he keeps deepest in the tank force. And the fact that it's coming out already in set one, just you see right, the extent to which these two players push each other to be absolutely in it. Absolutely, and you can tell, I mean, John wants to get this final game, doesn't want to, you know, move on into a game five or even a reset where he has to take three more games. Yeah, I appreciate numbers. He's trying to make sure I get home before midnight. Absolutely. That's that's the house of 3,000 difference. Oh, I got a three-hour drive. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's not a uh, turn up to cover himself. Back on the recovery, still holding on to his second stock. That's the difference that that just little bit of healing does for John, keeping himself alive on this second stock. The deep yeah. breathing coming out once again. Link's got to be careful with these extensions off stage, still holding on. But John, it's been a while since John has gotten a really good neutral interaction. Even so, with the, with, when you're at 166, you have to measure each interaction so much because it takes one button press as extra, one button press not enough to lose your stock. There, the back air getting caught out by the Salute the Sun Charge, and Ling is trying to cost them up, down, left, right, and center, but missing the downward turn up toss, allowing numbers to not just get back to stage, but get the reversal. Oh, and somehow Ling weaved his way through both projectiles, finds his way a, a, his own way back, and now it's just a full-on slobber knocker as as numbers tries to bring this to the last stock situation. Ling 
wants this game five, does not want to get back in my vehicle right now. Absolutely, and John getting caught by that down smash at the ledge, and the extra credit is continuing to climb for Ling, still not getting caught by that sun salutation. All right, Numbers has to make it back to the stage. What a beautiful microwave from John to be able to make it back to the ledge, and now one stock away, John is from getting Xeno Saga 47 under his belt. One stock away, but you have to get out of the corner against Peach and finding a way to do so. Even from disadvantage, though, Ling somehow found a way to keep the pressure on, not let numbers properly reset to neutral. The swinging back and forth, both players want it so bad, but it's going to be Ling holding on. The crown not going to do the job quite yet, though. Oh, numbers managing to play it patient, give himself another opportunity force. These turnips just doing so much work on John right now. He is still able to make it back to the ledge and able to find some uh, some space, but the neutral air will be taking it, and Ling will be taking us to game five. And again, hey, I mean, listen. I'm down for five games. I'm down for five more games. Absolutely. Because this is Smash Ultimate, baby. This is incredibly high level. The rate of adjust the adjustments are getting made at the pace of play right the variation in it the speed at which it's maximizing and how players are incorporating the speed of their play into their adjustments constantly adjusting each other the the neutral the weaving the how did he make that back feeling like it's every disadvantage state Absolutely. right like this is what makes this game exciting and at its core, and I could watch this all night. Like, these two play all night? Three bombs! Are you kidding me, Ling? This is also why I love Smash Ultimate, is when Ling gets to pull three bombs in one bracket. Come to is bombs that... on Monday. You, you know what? I, I, now I guess I have to make the drive <laughs> back to the city. Now I have to make it happen, because that was a fantastic plug for us. But, it was <laughs> also, but it's also just a fantastic edge trap yet again from Link, right? Letting numbers get back onto stage occasionally, let him get off ledge, but never let him out of that corner. Or even now, right? He doesn't get center stage without the double roll all the way through. And that roll staling is gonna allow, gonna remove the options and allow Link to find this corner situation on the opposite side. Yeah, and we can see Link just the patience there at the ledge, kind of forcing John to force the issue, as you were saying, and these uh, these roll-ins just not doing John any favors thus far. Finally getting some stage positioning for himself, but unfortunately misses the uh, deep breathing circle. Very, very rare you see numbers ever miss a deep breathing even inhale, inhale, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are at rhythm games, right? You can never be on that 100% ling and trying to find the pressure and does that find the neutral air take the first stock for ling trying to book us a ticket to five more games. Absolutely. And getting John off stage once again, John has really not been able to find any sort of meaningful stage positioning in quite a while. Finally, though, getting a, a throw, but it's right back to the corner for him. Yeah, Ling's mixture of DI, his double jump, his double jump mix-ups, has numbers almost swinging at ghosts sometimes, right? You see numbers start to try and read or even sometimes react to DI, and because of float, because of Peach's floatiness, because of how Ling is DIing, he's just never where numbers are expecting him to be. It's how Ling is stretching out these stocks for just so long. Um, and the question is now, how can Numbers improve his ability to get out of the corner? It's one of the things we fit is historically strong as that, but... Fifth Saturn! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I... Jesus Christ. That's all I got. It's... I like that that Mr. Saturn was ju really just there for moral support for Ling. Yeah, it always is. When you have a lead with Peach, oftentimes you pull away those those the, the special turnips because they can also be used against you. And as much as you know, it's it's often safer to just compound on your position with the lower reward, but also lower with normal turnips than it is to try and find the explosivity of Mr. Saturn or Bomb. And I also, I love the way that Ling is, you know, continuing to play this ledge trapping game, not really letting John do what he does best, which is reversing edge guarding situations. He has, I don't think we've seen a single, like, 
classic John reversal this entire set so far. It's just been this like stoic patience from Ling. And right, really forcing numbers to start to dance on his own, right, weaving in and out around Ling's shield every opportunity he gets, trying to find any ways to find some pressure, but Ling is throwing these turnips, catching them soon after, right? It is. It feels like it's a wave of vegetables, and, you know, even we fit who loves to eat healthy, kind of getting overwhelmed right now. Yeah, you know, everything in moderation. Too many veggies can still be bad for you. All right, deep breathing dash attack, still not going to be taking it. Ling holding on to this second stock. Parasol coming through as well. And John's not, also not able to find that B reverse sun salutation. That absolutely would have been a stock. But instead, it, we are getting closer and closer to that true finals, and, that reset. And Numbers needs to find this stock, honestly, before, I was going to say 75, but he's just about there at this point. Because now, even if he takes this, he has to take another one off Ling, which is so hard to do without taking two, one or two hits, which is all she needs. But once again, Numbers is gonna Numbers. Yeah, finally, uh, finally seeing the uh, reversal that I was talking out, talking about before, and deep breathing online for Numbers, not out of the realm of possibility, but Numbers has to play pretty much perfectly. Cash out on everything and the he has. Drop down there, even knowing the ball wasn't online, to just find the spike bop around ledge was just brilliant. Numbers trying to play extremely defensively right now. Doesn't want to get caught at the ledge. Just trying to get little bits of his uh, resource management online. Sun Sal is online for John. Mm -hmm. But no deep breathing for the moment. So as we say that, it comes out, right? That extra movement speed, that extra damage knockback going to be so, so critical when it matters most here as both players in kill percent. Numbers trying to find the salute. That would have been it, but the Weezers are gone. The spot dodge. Jab one reverse. Gonna allow him to get out of dodge force. They are scrambling, but it's gonna be the crown. Ling is inevitable. We are going to true finals. And I think we're gonna be seeing five more games with how tense that last game was. That was honestly, honestly, peak Smash Ultimate. Absolutely. That we just saw. I, I completely agree. Like, just... I felt like, I, there's just, like, I, I'm almost at a loss for words, honestly, like, just the level of microspacing, the level mm -hmm. of adjustments, the level of uh, calculation visible, like, even in the scrap situations, right, even when they're both scrambling, you could see how every single button press was being thought through, and like, okay, what what can I possibly do? What's my option to get me out of this situation? Yeah. And even the most unique things, these players have, know. They are there. They see it. And that's why we're in uh, five more games. <laughs> yeah, every everything, you know, calculated with risk and reward. Shield looking real low on Ling right now. But, yeah, we are moving on to game one of True Finals. Mm -hmm. Still a best of five. And, yeah, I think... I think we're in for a second hot set. I agree. Row. But Forrest, I gotta ask you, over or under on how many total um, Stitch Faces, Saturn, Bombs does Ling pull this set in his remaining possible stocks because number is managing to take that first game. I'm thinking, honestly, I'm feeling like at least two more Saturns. Maybe two one more bomb. Saturns? Yeah. Wow, you're, you're going specific. I just honestly, meant like some total of all of them. I mean... I feel like we've seen the most Saturns from Ling out of the, like, special turnips. So, I don't know. I just feel like he has, like, special Saturn RNG. I'm holding you to two more Saturns this set. I'm holding you to that. But in the meantime, it's going to be the Winky Face coming on out as Ling tries to, once again, just extend this corner pressure coast to coast. It doesn't matter. He's just willing to never let numbers reset to neutral without getting hit. Never let him back onto stage unless he can beat out Ling's button. And unfortunately, missing the sweet spot of that neutral air, the only reason numbers is still holding on to tell the tale. And 
empty movement coming out from Ling at the platform. Such amazing pressure, but John continuing to hold on 170% right now as Ling tries to poke upward with the up tilt, try and find it. I love these micro dashes from John to just barely uh, get out of the way of that forward air. But finally, the call out on the Sun Citation charge. Ling bringing us to even stocks. And 60% down right? Peach very capable. Oh, oh, starting with a down tilt, neutral air, down air, air of finding the long combo string has been immaculate, keeping numbers in the corner, but that sun salutation and Ling already caught in the back pedal, so just a little too far away to really get cooking too hard here, and instead has to find a way back down against numbers, who's honestly his vertical jungle game on Ling's peach of the set has really been his X factors. Absolutely. I love the catch on the jump there from John. Now putting Ling at 180%, but if you're letting Peach live that long, maybe finding another like 60% combo in your face very soon. And that's only was on, only 60% because Ling dropped the down to ult to get the extension, right? So Peach's damage output can be absolutely absurd. 185 though. Oh, it's gonna be Wii Fit sending you into the blast zone. Numbers trying to say, hey, okay, we keep trading games back and forth. Fine, whatever. Like, it's my turn. I'm gonna take this one. New set, 0-0. Zero, zero. Let me start off on the right foot. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're taking turns, taking games, you just gotta make sure that the one the one that wins you the tournament is, the, is when it's your turn. Exactly. All right. 98% now on John, catches the down tilt with the Sun Salutation and lapping Ling in percent. Now in the corner, Ling gonna try and find a way out the early Peach Bomber Ooh. recovery. That's the second time he's looked for that Peach Bomber off shield into the F Smash to try and catch the dash in. Numbers hasn't given it to him before either. Ling sweating, evidently. Yeah. I thought Zeno's venue was supposed to be cold. Hold on. It's hot today. I I'm agree. not gonna lie. <laughs> It's cooking. Well, hold on. Is it hot in here or is it just us? It might just be us. Maybe. Because all I'm saying is we look mighty fine. Not gonna lie. But in all seriousness, no, it is It is. It is quite nice out today. And it's definitely, it's definitely, you can feel it. It's definitely tactile here within mm -hmm. the Xeno venue. And those good vibes have kind of radiated all the way, all the way into bracket. The furthest depths of the Xeno Zero venue here as we get into game number two as Ling tries to, once again, even it up against John Number. Yep, bringing things right back into Small Battlefield. Honestly, I think the entire Grand Finals is going to be Small Battlefield. I would I would not be surprised if I saw the sta a stage get switched, but if I did, I feel like it would be Ling switching it. I don't think Numbers, under any circumstances, is going to take us to a different stage. Absolutely. I, what a reversal from John. What looked to be Ling's situation instead finding a huge neutral air into up smash yeah. combo. He managed to just barely short hop over into the neutral air over the down smash from then. It was just brilliant. Honestly, brilliant stuff from numbers. His awareness is the downloads you've been talking about, right? On full display. No. But just the pressure from Ling. Right? That wasn't an unforced error. Yeah, numbers went a little too low, but it was because of the positioning when he was floating it. Right? There was nowhere really for numbers to go. And now, down a stock, you know, it's up. the question is, can numbers playing from behind operate with the same fervor he has playing from the lead? I mean, we saw in the first set of Grand Finals, this is kind of where John has been struggling in this particular matchup is you know, playing from behind, playing against a Ling who has a stock advantage and stage advantage. He went for the drag down, down air into footstool there. <laughs> Didn't find a mark stitch. and another stitch face. So uh, we've got the bomb. So we're on... How many stitches did you say? I, I said two Saturns. We haven't seen any Saturns just yet. Okay, okay. I was going to say, like, I was going to give you, like, a sum total on additional... <laughs> I was going to say, I think we see two additional turnips from St Ling this side, which is halfway there. Now, the salute and the buttons from Numbers going to at least even up the stock count. 105 down. He is starting to make his way back. Remember, he only was at about 35 when he lost that stock. But how does he 
can manage to hold on to this one. And how does he find the extra credit? What can he get to close this gap? Because if he can get the lead back, great. But that's not necessarily the expected game plan here. The question is, what amount of work do you need to do for it to feel like this is doable? Yeah, and I mean, that's just so much lost momentum from John mm -hmm. after such an extremely dominant uh, performance, just getting like 130% almost unanswered from Ling, but now you're a full stock behind. I mean, at this point, do you just start thinking about next game? I don't think so. I think you have to play in the moment. I think you have to take the opportunity to get these downloads, get these adjustments. Maybe you get a little bit more experimental. If, if you're focused, you're starting to think, do I go to next game? But instead, Ed, you maybe you try and, and start to get a little bit more experimental. Or we'll say, okay, if this works, right, it's going to get me back in it. But if it doesn't, now I know for next time, right? You just start trying to test the waters, see what mix-ups you might have that might have some legs going on, but the Pratt Shabble. fall into the mix-up, but beautiful DI up there to extent and the distance at which the tech would happen from numbers and it's gonna allow him to get back out of dodge, get stage control, and honestly, of course, if he can find the stock here, he might have a way back in this game, and, and he, he does in fact find the stock with a deep breathing F-tilt and only 68% that's not a whole lot. He, he was at almost 80 breathing. before, and then he just like, went through so many oh, deep that's breathing. Oh, stitch, and, by the way. And salute the sun. Yeah, that's two stitches. Is That's two stitches plus a... Do we have two stitches in two games or three stitches in two I, games? I think that was two stitches in okay. one game. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have anything special the first game. No, no friends. Unfortunately. All right, but John is definitely still in this, trying to keep the pressure up on the platform with the uh, soccer ball. But now back at ledge once again, this is where Ling has really been shining this entire set is when he's able to get that stage advantage. For sure, and once again, right, the neutral air on reaction, right? These ledge traps aren't guesses. They aren't preemptive. He's not just secretly... E he, he doesn't just secretly have uh, psychic powers, at least not that any of us know of, to be able to understand numbers inputs before he knows them. Like, it's it's literally just that Ling is reacting to the get-up yeah. animation, and because of float, and because of the shape of Peach neutral air especially, and turn up, Peach is one of the most effective reaction-based ledge trappers of the game because she's so incredibly flexible. Absolutely. And John taking us back to Small Battlefield for Game 3, Bombing Mission, Music Counterpick. Definitely, yeah, I mean, definitely one of John's uh, favorite music. Because Numbers knows where he wants to be on Mondays. True! Th now there's a plug. <laughs> Thank you! Don't worry, I learned from the best. <laughs> and by the best, I mean you. Anyways, once again, Ling trying to keep Numbers in the corner. We're starting to see the shield play come out. Numbers trying to get those resources back cash and use the platform to his advantage to get out of dodge, but even then it's only a neutral reset and he has to put himself back in the corner to do so. This is what Link's been taking full advantage of, but Numbers still is finding opportunities. He's just not able to extend as much off of them. Link's positioning defensively has been perfect. Yeah, and unfortunately not able to find anything out of that deep breathing neutral air, meaning that Ling only is sitting at 55% right now and... 81%, 80 now on John Numbers, and Link continuing this ledge pressure, but a fantastic reversal up smash from John to now put himself both in a stage and uh, percent lead. Link trying to find there. the route back, but he kind of got forced into the shimmy back by Numbers positioning, and then the forward air just came out to seal the deal. Numbers, remember, this is Numbers wanting that counter pick and run, right? I know I've said it multiple times, whoever goes up two games right, gets to pick that pivotal game five stage. And when you've already had the game five reset, when you already have, you're at one one apiece, that stage pick might be the single most important thing, even if the whole stage until that point is on small battlefield, because if Bling gets it, we could fully see the curveball to a different stage. Yeah, we could, we could see the sudden town and city pick, but... John Numbers waving someone wave, away. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you see this? You see what I have to deal with right now? It's like, he's like, go away. I have to focus. <laughs> All right. 
but deep breathing online. Ling kind of giving up the stage position a little bit to keep his distance from the scary glowing red Wii Fit trainer. And then saving the double jump into the Peach Bomber. There's just an incredible route from Ling to find the way back to stage for his horse. But Numbers now um, on his own, also leveling up this ledge trapping game, right? Keeping Ling in the corner. It is an inescapable prison, so it seems, with Numbers once again taking the stop, trying to lock down. Yep, and another kind of a, a checkmate situation. Ling Shield was simply too low right there, especially with deep breathing online. He just got checked on his shield one too many times. And now John with a full stock lead over Ling, looking to take uh, game three and take that pivotal counter pick advantage that you were talking about before, Ritual. Now watch the way Ling is adjusting his approach. He's trying to float at the mid-range of this platform, try and make it as ambiguous as possible, whether he's going to land on top of platform, fall through it, approach, retreat, he, but also kind of limit the ways in which numbers can counterplay him because when you're floating through that platform, right, soccer ball is going to bounce off the top and you can kind of hide underneath it safely. I, w I just want to point out that was a fantastic reaction to the Peach Bomber from John Numbers to immediately just retreat uh, to ledge while he was in the uh, soccer ball animation. And Ling with the parasol cancel with the ledge grab, trying to find a conversion off of it. Numbers are just a little too high a percent for such a niche tech. But Ling, regardless, gonna find that to his put you in the blast zone and force once again. We keep saying this, and I have a feeling we're going to be saying it a three more times. Last dock situation. Deep breathing up air, not going to be taking it just yet, but the F tilt will be taking it. We got Those... a whole kill spark for something that didn't kill or no kill spark for what yeah. did. This game lies to the people harder than I did talking about the DI lines earlier. <laughs> Holy cow. But... John Numbers gets that counter pick advantage. Even if we're seeing small battlefield the whole way through, that that means that Ling's, you know, potential curveball game five off the table. And getting into it, I agree. I think now we are going with what you said earlier. Now that Numbers has counter pick advantage, I think we're going to see that whole thing set here on small battlefield. Absolutely. I mean, and to be fair, I mean, you know, I mean, unless Numbers has a secret that we don't know about, right, going into Game 5, Ling, I would be very surprised to not see him force. I think he wants to, I mean, we know he wants to force the Game 5, right? But immediately coming out of the gate, swinging, leveling up once again that pace of play we saw at the end of the last set, but in the beginning of this set, he slowed it back down again. Now we're seeing that high speed, but you can see the decision-making just leveling up speed-wise as he gets in the zone. Mm-hmm. All right now, catching John out of the soccer ball animation and keeping John in the corner, reacting to the sun salutation, make sure, making sure he is able to continue the pressure and the reversal uh, pan F smash, sending John right up. We got the golf ball, we got the, or the golf club, we got the pan. Are we going to see the tennis match today? That's the real question. Numbers trying to not even give Ling the opportunity once again. Right, lock down the corner. We're seeing the crouch come out for the first time. Numbers trying to use the dash grab, but Wii Fit's grab so hard to hit unless you're on con shield just because of how low the range is. It feels like also Wii Fit F to purpose built against Peach, right? You've got that big forward hitbox, the backwards anti air. Just perfect for dealing with Peach float cancels across us. Absolutely. And John making the full extent use of it in this set so far. Dead even percents. And John trying to find some space for himself here in the center. And as soon as Ling approached that uh, platform, you could see John was looking to set up and continue that pressure with uh, the soccer ball. All right, John now with a good percent lead and deep breathing online. As well as the Salute the Sun in the back pocket, trying to get a little creative with the soccer ball. Ling's early parasol is just going to deflect the potentially fatal blow, and the glancing blow going to deflect the Salute the Sun as well. So now both players, there's all the resources were here before a moment ago, but now Numbers is back to square one, immediately jumping up to two square. Now three square, one stock lead. Left force. Can Ling find a way to force this game five or 
is it gonna be the end of this story? Is the princess really, truly going to be in another castle? We may be seeing the John Clutch Factor, as we often do here on the Xeno streams, already 50% on Ling on his way to his potentially his tournament stock. The hitbox extension on the soccer ball coming out and extending that extra we credit. Got, we had down air into soccer ball into down air again. <laughs> Talk about a crazy string of events. Back air, though, gonna continue the pressure. Ling able to find the stock on this interaction would be huge for his game five hopes. There it is, Force 83 is a little on the high side when you have to compete with deep breathing, but a dot eyes in the bag if you can get a combo here. It's certainly possible. Calling out the header mix up, maybe trying to catch numbers with a cheeky going too deep there. Air, but now we see numbers going for the header reads on stage. That's when it gets serious for him. And you can see Ling holding on to this dot eyes right now. He wants to get that combo starter, almost does so, because that dot eyes is absolutely going to be a difference maker. And 45 oh. in the corner, or numbers that up special unstale just enough to let him go back. Ling reaching, wailing for that early forward air stock, but not able to find it. It, it pushing each other once again to the absolute limits for us. We would not have it any other way, but this is coming down oh to the wire. God, the Ling turn. is clutching like we have never seen him clutch. But the forward air, but not taking it just yet. Ling holding on, but Ooh. this is a peach with full rage. I don't think a throw Boruto's will not be gonna doing do it, it from center stage, but the soccer ball almost finding its mark, just barely missing. And having to avoid deep breathing, swing the air dodge to this center could stage. Be it. gonna do it. Deep breathing in the back. The DI mix up. And John Numbers. John Numbers. John Numbers. We Fit Trainer. Hey, you know what, Force? What's up? You know what I think we all need to do? I think you need to do. I think I need to do. I think Ling needs to do. And I think all those folks watching at home need to do. I think we need to stretch our legs. I think we need to stretch those shoulders and stretch I'm, those I'm legs. I'm stretching my shoulders. Oh, my God. I've been sitting in this chair for so long. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was both a let's let's meme about We Fit and also, uh, no, this is just serious yeah. health advice. Stretch those shoulders. <laughs> but John Numbers taking things 3-1 wow. over Ling. That after. was an insane pair of sets. Absolutely. John Numbers with the thumbs up. Ling and almost making the insane losers run yeah. with seven sets. Seven he won seven, seven straight sets. Nice. In losers in a 22 person singles bracket. Oh. <laughs> Am I even live? Yeah, we can. Oh. I mean, we can hear you. Oh, I just wanted to say nice. 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 You're pretty good. Nothing personnel, kid. Anyways. <sighs> You're done. So. Xeno what Saga. Else, what else is there to say? That. I mean, it doesn't matter how big or smaller brackets are here, right? Because you know when you're tuning into the house stream, you're going to get some. Pretty damn great Smash Brothers. This, this is why I say this is one of the best regions in the world. And honest, 22 people. We were like, oh, not a lot of people. Doesn't matter. Oh, we still ended at 9.41. We still <laughs> ended at almost 10 p.m. And why? Not because our games took forever. Not because our players camped each other out. Not because every set went to time. But because the Smash Brothers were just that good. The, um, the level of adaptation just kept rising and it just and it wasn't just in those grand final sets it was all the way through and the storyline all the way from tropical right making it all the way to fourth pl four, fourth place fifth place yeah fifth place making it all the way to fifth place in the bracket today right after beating ling his best ever win as a king key wool player mm -hmm. to we right um Heredas returned to to New York after spending the year I believe for school in Chicago oh to Professor MGW making it all the way to a losers finals this tournament had it all for storylines in state out of state new old returning it doesn't matter we are here this is Smash Bros Zeno has been around and for the story up to this point and it will continue to be around to tell the stories that you folks deserve with some amazing, amazing content we have in store for y'all. And if you want to see even more 
Guys, make sure you are checking out the House of 3000, all these social medias, including the YouTube where the VODs will be going up as soon as possible. And if, and if you want to follow them on Twitter, you can tweet out hashtag free H O three. Please, we're and, begging you. And I guess follow at Devin3000 for the interim. Yeah, and follow at Devin3000 and... Uh, Helper Twitter, yeah. whatever that. <laughs> I uh, hate promoting my own Twitter, but yeah, we might as well. I'll promote your Twitter, Devin. Yeah. Follow Devin at Devin3000 on Twitter uh, because he's both a really cool dude with amazing food cart recommendations <laughs> and also because uh, that's your place for all House of 3000 content on the Twitter sphere in the interim. And speaking of, if you like uh, House of 3000 and you like tournaments and you're looking for something a little bit bigger, a little bit better than even a Xeno Saga, you can come check out Defend the North. It's happening this year, July 14th through 16th, tucked nice and neatly in, but you know, halfway into the month of July, two weeks before Gommel. If you're looking for one, a, week. one, one week. week before Gommel, I'm sorry, I can't do math. Um, somehow I was like, oh yeah, 23 to 16 to 23. Now that's that's 14 days. Anyways. Uh, not only does DTN have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, it's got just about every other fighting game with a competitive scene. All of Tri-State comes together to put on one of the best FGC majors in the Northeast, brought to you by our very own House of 3000. If you're interested, go to the Start GG, scan the QR code, maybe consider registering today. Yeah, yeah I'm going to find out from Ling since I have him in person, if he's confirmed for this or not. So uh, he is not confirmed, but he is strongly considering going. Yeah. I was talking to him to, about I'm it. trying to lock him in, because we, we got Tilde, we got the Buzz, we got Zomba, we got Mr. E. I'm trying to add Link to that. Oh. You know. I mean, to be honest, I'd probably be Link's carpool. It's, you know, it's Shameless the, plug. What is it? From DTN to Gommel, just, it just becomes like a, a Northeast travel uh, sort of thing. We all mass exodus. So, yeah. We defend the north, then we must invade the north. <laughs> Problem solved. Yes. And speaking of events that are happening in July, we do have Xeno Weeklies and the illustrious Xeno 300, I believe. July is, 5th. Yes, July 5th, right before uh, DTN. Yeah, the perfect warm up. You've got the penultimate, and then you've got the, you've got the, you've got the, you've got Xeno 300, and then you've got a week to just relax. And then you got defend the north. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're working on. So we're going to be doing about five hundred dollars in bounties uh, for Xeno three hundred, just like two hundred. Uh, and then uh, going to be working on some extra pop bonuses and gonna try and make this event as big as we can. Uh, and I believe we have a Matcherino for three hundred. Yes, there is. Yeah, so there is a Matcherino exclamation point Matcherino chat. We'll take you to the Xeno three hundred uh, page for it. And uh, yeah, go do the coupons. Do it. Please do. Yeah. Literally do it. free money. It's but. so easy. You're talking on Twitch. Unbelievable. You already have an account. And of course, you know what else is unbelievable? What's that? They're already at the end of this amazing tournament and this amazing, amazing night. It's been so awesome to get to share the mic with you once again. I don't get down here very often, and it's always a blast to get to catch with it, you. It has been an absolute pleasure. I've been having an amazing time here on the mic tonight as we're vibing tonight's Into Dreams music. I've been Ritual. You can find me on Twitter at RitualCasts. And I'm Force Armor. You can find me at Force Armor. And folks, have a good one. See you later. <laughs>